Hi, I'm Scott Hewitt with Motive Bowling. One thing that we really wanted to do is put together a video that showed the difference in performance on a ball that has been oil soaked and a ball that is new out of the box. And the reason we wanted to do this is because we've had so many bowlers and pro shops come to us and say, you guys have to get the word out on the longevity of your cover stocks. Because in the past, people have been used to a lot of other brands where, say after 50, 60 games, the, the performance really starts to drop down, especially on some of the really high-end equipment. And what we've been hearing is that a lot of people are telling us they're getting 150 games or more on their mode of equipment before it really starts to see a significant difference in performance. So what we did today is we went to our local bowling center here, Northway Lanes in Muskegon, Michigan, and we had EJ Tackett come down. How you doing, EJ? Good. And EJ's gonna throw two different jackals. The jackal is our highest end ball. It's a big hooking ball, and it's built for heavy oil. So we took one ball, soaked it in oil for an hour, and we took another ball fresh out of the box, and we're gonna have EJ throw these balls and then talk to him afterwards and see what he thinks. Throwing the two different jackals, the one that was oil soaked and the one that was new out of the box, obviously there's going to be some differences between throwing that equipment on fresh and throwing it on a pattern that's starting to get burned up. So tell us a little bit about what you saw, how much of a difference there was and where that came into play. Um, I noticed on the on fresh, um, I didn't really see much difference between the two bowling balls. Um, the new one read a little bit earlier. Um, the oil soaked one a little bit longer just because it had a little bit of oil in it and it didn't grab the lane as quick. Um, when they got burned up a little bit, uh, I noticed that the new one really read the lane really early and um, ended up hooking about two boards more than the oil soaked one. Um, the advantage of the oil soaked one in that situation is it doesn't read the lane as early so that way you can kind of like keep your line a little bit tighter and um, it gets down the lane a little bit more and actually becomes a little bit more responsive. Um, to the friction um, because it's not reading so early. So um, both have its advantages and disadvantages, but um, overall I was really impressed with um, how well the soaked one performed against the new inbox one. Yeah, I was also watching you throw it. I mean, I was, especially when you were on fresh originally watching you throw those shots, it was pretty amazing. I honestly couldn't even see that there was a difference when you first started throwing a ball. It was crazy. You were lining up with both balls almost on the identical line and the performance still seemed the same, which is crazy to think that ball was soaked in oil, submerged for an hour, and then pull it out, drill it, and you get that type of performance, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, the first time I threw these bowling balls, um, I actually thought the oil soaked one hooked more down lane <laughs> uh, because of you know how clean it was to the front. Right. Um, it, it, was, it was really cool. That's to, awesome. To see that, that a ball that you soaked in oil actually uh, hooked more down lane than right. a brand new one out of the box. That's cool. Thanks a ton, man. Really Thank appreciate you. it. So as you can see, uh, you know, the mode of equipment, the longevity is there. Uh, if you're looking for outstanding performance and longevity, take a look at Motive product line. Uh, you'll like what you see.